All right, this video is 90-90 ISO ramping. We're gonna do the front leg, which is external rotation, back leg, internal rotation. To get into your 90-90, I want your right knee directly in line with your right hip, 90 degree bend in that hip. Same thing, left hip. Left knee is in line with left hip, 90 degree bend here. And then for this front leg, we're gonna go through external, external rotation first. Drive your belly button forward and up, and I'm looking for a stretch underneath my right hip. So if I can get a stretch in the bottom of the right, right hip or in the booty a little bit, that's great. I'm thinking about chest comes forward, tailbone goes back, and I'm settling in. I can move side to side. I can explore this position, find a stretch. Once you find your stretch, you're going to hang out here for two minutes. That's important. We're doing this to create more range of motion, and the best way to do that is to start with a two-minute stretch. Fast forward, we're done with our two minute stretch. ISO ramping, I'm gonna cue you through it. We're gonna do an eight second max effort hold, but it's gonna take a few seconds to get up to there. So take a deep breath, squeeze your belly as hard as you possibly can, flex it. Flex both butt cheeks as hard as you can. Flex both quads, both hamstrings, flex your chest, flex your back, flex your arms. So now we've got max tension through the body. And we're going to ramp into an effort through this front leg. So if there were a scale underneath my front foot, I'm going to start to push into that. So max tension through your body. And now 25% effort, start to drive your right foot down through the ground. So I'm using my right butt cheek. I'm pushing down 25%. Push harder, 50%. Try to make that scale register as heavy as you can. Push 75%. Push as hard as you possibly can. Eight, seven, push harder. Five, four, three, two, time, dial it all back. So that's for external rotation. The way you do it, you build the max tension, you flex everything in the body as hard as you possibly can. Now we use that tension to try to rotate the foot through the ground. If the ground wasn't there, the foot would end up swinging underneath the knee. We just pivot right there in the hip. So all of the effort for force into the ground is coming from your front hip. So when we go 25%, we're feeling, okay, cool, I found some stuff in the hip, I'm pushing a little bit, but my body's as tight as I can make it. And then 50, I'm pushing harder, I'm finding more tissue. 75, pushing harder. When we get to 100%, you're trying to push harder and harder every second for the full eight second count. So that is ISO ramping on the front leg, which is external rotation. Back leg is internal rotation. For internal rotation, I'm gonna bring my hands behind me and I'm gonna play around here and think about my left butt cheek getting closer to the ground, and I want to keep my right knee down. I don't want to end up in this position here. Keeping this leg down, I'm finding a stretch. It's not going to be the biggest stretch you've ever felt, but it's going to be deep inside that back hip, which is my left hip right now. You're going to hold that for two minutes because we're trying to create more range of motion, and then we're going to do our hard effort. It's the exact same thing as we did on the front leg, except we're doing internal rotation instead of external rotation. So I'm internally rotating this hip. Deep breath, squeeze your belly as tight as you possibly can. Flex your chest, flex your back. Flex both butt cheeks as hard as you can. Quads, hamstrings, shin, calves. So we've got tons of tension through the whole body. And now 25% rotating my left foot into the ground. If there were a scale there, I'm trying to make it register a little bit higher. Now ramp it up 50%. So more stuff from the hip pushing down. 75%, push as hard as you possibly can. Eight, seven, keep pushing. Try to find more stuff. Push harder, four, three, two, dial it all back. And then check your set, sorry, check your sheet for sets and reps. But ISO ramping, in a nutshell, build max tension through the whole system, and then whatever joint we're training, we're gonna put a 25% rotational effort into whatever's blocking. In this case, it was the ground. And then ramp it, 50, ramp it, 75, ramp it, as hard as you possibly can. By ramping up into that really hard effort, you're gonna find more tissue. You're going to recruit more and you're going to get more benefits from your effort. That is ISO ramping.